Okay. So, I just picked up this game some time ago, and it is actually kind of funny. So I figured I'd share it with the world. So this is Autonauts, and I'm, I'm into games like Factorio and Satisfactory and automation games, like the kind of thing we actually have to build these entirely huge production lines and stuff like that. But this stuff like that has a bit of a but twist. But this stuff like that... You see, the thing about it is that you get to build robots with wood and sticks and acorns. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna just uh, play the uh, settlement mode. No, I'm gonna play the enlightenment mode. I like that one a little bit better because it's basically just evolving the little people that you need to breed at some point. Yes, I said breed. Breed people. Now this game is generally kind of loud. So um, I'm just gonna go through some of the basics of this game real quick. All right, so you build stuff which is usual in this kind of game. Little workbenches where you can produce things, a little robot workbench where you can actually build robots. But you make them out of sticks and acorns instead of out of metal and stuff like in most games. Oh, and this is where you can dispense folk seeds, which is seeds that people grow from, and then you get to incubate them in this little folk incubator thing, which is where they pop out of them. And then if you give them food, they will give you, I kid you not, love which you can then use as a resource for research yeah so um let's just get started and we'll figure out how things go from there first thing i always like to do is just go on a little bit of an exploration screen see what's out there so for example here we have some trees and some logs and some acorns and some sticks right cool. this looks like stone Alright, so here's some stone, which is good, because if you want to get stones, then and you whack one of these with a pickaxe, then at some point they disappear, but these stone veins, they always keep there. I haven't found any use for grass yet, but I haven't got too deep into this game yet, so... You'll find that it's got a super cutesy theme, which again is something I don't generally go for in games, but this one just caught my eye somehow. So these are mushrooms, oh that looks like bees. Right, bees mean honey, and I don't actually know what that's for yet, but it has a purpose, I'm quite sure. This looks like desert sand. So sand is also something we're going to be needing at some point. Here's some cotton. More grass. A bunch of flowers. This is a berry bush, right? Also useful. Now, the, th the trick in this game is to find ways to have robots do stuff for you. So you don't have to do everything yourself. Because that can actually get kind of tedious, having to do everything yourself. Just like in real life. Okay, I think we've got a relatively good foundation. What's this? Cereal, yes, and pumpkins. Oh, that's so good. I'm going to need all of that at some point. Okay, now, this game will give you some guidelines. You can just basically say, uh, I have these plans, and I can just select one, and then I can use it, play it, whatever. Um, I can actually do the whole tutorial thing, but I don't want to, because I've already done that. So, I'm just going to pin this plan, which is one plan. And it says, if you look at the bottom right, I need to chop down three trees, I need to dig some soil, and I need to plant a bunch of trees. Now, I always like to work off a of plan, so I'm going to pick a spot of five by five squares that is going to be my forestry area. And I'm going to do that here, because this is a nice little spot that I would be then able to sort of customize. Um, Let's see, we'll start at the very beginning. To chop down the tree, 
I need to use something sharp, like a stone. Or, if I want to do it even better, I'm going to build me an axe. And for that, I'll need a workbench, because obviously if you want to make an axe, you will have to have a workbench. I'm going to put that workbench over here-ish. And that's because... No, that's a bad idea, actually. I'm just going to keep it over here for a bit, and we'll move it later when we need to. Now, to build one of these, I'm going to need to drop two logs and two sticks on it. Which means I need to actually go up there and grab this log. And dump it on there. Now, logs are big, so I can carry only one at a time. Also, I sweat a lot when I do that. two logs. Now I also see a whole bunch of sticks out here, so let's grab two. Now these are light, so I can carry four right there. So, there we go. One, two. I jump on them a bit, and I have a workbench. And I can make stuff on this workbench. For example, I can make a crude axe, which I can do by grabbing a stone and a stick and dumping them on there. Ta-da! I now have an axe. Okay, now, according to my little mission over here, I need to chop down three trees and plant three trees. And I'm going to be planting my forest right over here. And I'm also going to find a robot that will be able to hack that stone to pieces for me until it falls down. Let's find the robot workbench. For which I'm going to need three planks and two logs. Cool, I should be able to find a couple of those. So, one robot workbench. Now, to um, do something with planks. To get planks, I need to whack a log with a stick. Obviously. That gives me two planks, so I need to whack another log with a stick. There we go. Now, I'm going to put my axe away for a bit. Grab three planks. And toss them on the pile. Now, where do I get more logs? You say, that's actually kind of easy. I'm going to chop down a bunch of trees. Cute, ain't it? All right. There we go. Put away the axe and carry the logs to this workbench. Now, the bot assembly unit is a rather important place because it is where I'm going to build robots. And robots don't actually have anything like um, metal or stuff parts in it, at least not initially. But robots are built out of acorns and sticks. To build a bot, I need a log, three planks, a pole, and a tree seed, which is what I would normally refer to as an acorn. So, uh, log, pole, and uh, yes, so, tree seed. Those are easy to come by. Then, I need to knock down a tree oh. with my axe. And, you know, just for the heck of it, I'm going to knock down every tree I find here. Did you notice how big that log just became? Now, just like in any other automation game, it actually pays to think forward a little bit, to do a bit of planning. And I haven't gotten very good at planning in this game yet, so if I completely mess up a couple times, that is because I am still in the stupid stage. So, I need three planks, a pole, and a log. Now you may wonder why I need these. Well, this is so that I can build my first little robot. Ta-da! I'm going to charge it by winding the screw. So this is my first robot. It's awesome. And it doesn't actually have a name yet, so I'm going to call him Little Helper. That is Now, what I can do with this guy is I can actually 
tell him what to do by demonstrating what to do. Now before I can do that, I need to get a pickaxe, because I'm going to have him break that stone, because it's where I actually want to do my forestry bit. But first, I have to show the robot what to do. Now, I'm going to record some instructions. Whack this thing with a pickaxe. Until a stone pops off. Repeat. Forever. Have fun. Now he's going to complain that he doesn't have a pickaxe. Luckily, I have one. So I just gave him mine. In the meanwhile, I can start thinking about the rest. Hmm. What else shall I do with my life while he's doing the forestry bit? Oh yes, of course. You see, I need to make sure that I create a little 5x5 five five area. I usually like to go for 5x5 five five because I haven't noticed that it's too small yet and I can always create more 5x5 five five areas for the same purpose. Uh, let's see. So, this from there to right there is going to be... Now that means I need to get a shovel because it's going to be necessary for the next part of my master plan. I need, as you might expect, another stone and another stick. Because every crude tool in the universe is made up of a stick and a stone. Dump my old axe here and grab the spade. Maybe I need an extra robot to get some stuff handled. Uh, let me build one. So, three planks. A pole. A seed. And a log. So far, so good. Okay. Now, this guy is my new best friend, and I am going to teach him to do forestry. So I'm going to call him Tree Beard. Now, Treebeard is going to be digging holes for trees, and he's going to be doing it there. But then I'm going to give him a specific target area to do that in. That's 5 by 5 in size, and that is centered there. Okay, and he will repeat it while there are holes to be dug. So far, so good. Good luck. Now he's gonna whine and moan because he doesn't have a shovel. And now he has a shovel. So, there he goes. And in the meanwhile, this guy's clearing out the rocks, so there should be enough room in a bit for this. that the noise level is pretty high. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit. There. That should be slightly less noisy. Now at some point these guys unwind. They're literally uh, their wind up key is done turning. At which point I need to literally wind them up again. Once I have enough bots, at some point I'm going to just create bots that will do the winding up as well, and then they're going to be happily winding each other up all over the place. Let's see how many stones we have left. I 
think this one is just about done with this job. Nope, not entirely. I think it's probably the last stop. Oh. No. Gosh. Oh, in the meanwhile, can I dig with this? No. I'm going to have to make another shovel, because I do need to do some digging on my own. You see, that robot is going to dig only in the soil bits. And then right over here, we have a soil bit that is hidden by turf. And I need to get rid of that turf. Okay, now I'm done with the shovel, and I can put it back. I'm also going to put the axe back over here. And I'm just going to take this turf away from here and carry it to somewhere else. Like here, for example. And here, on the boundaries of the field that I'm planting. Now, in the meanwhile, this guy is done with his job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change his orders. You know? That by the way, it was the interface that just lets me select a robot and quickly edit it. Now, I'm going to delete all his orders and have him do the following. Grab an acorn and plant it. There we go. Now, I'm going to make sure that he only plants it in the places where I want them to be planted. Now, he can only plant, of course, in a place where there is a hole that has been dug by somebody, like another robot. There we go. And, but I want him to take these seeds from anywhere he can find that is anywhere near that foresty area that we're working on right now. There. Repeat forever. And I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll call him Acorn Guy now because it's what he does. Acorns. He plants acorns because he's awesome. And I'm gonna wind this guy up. So, what's actually happening now is we're going to have trees growing in this little field. Ta-da! Hey, now somebody's happy. And I can make party hats and chopping blocks. And my totem pole is going to grow. Okay. Now, I generally have a pretty good idea about where I want to go with this, of course, but um, generally speaking, the game has its own little plans, so it's useful to sometimes follow those little plans just to make sure that you don't do anything before you're actually ready for it. I've run into some issues where I keep getting tiny little one wolves from my people while I should actually be getting 10 wolves at the same time because I'm feeding more long food. So I was planning ahead right. So let's see if I can avoid that mistake this time. Now, we've got a guy digging holes. Right? We've also got a guy planting seeds. So far, so good. Let's see if we can put these seeds a little closer. There we go. Let's see if we can get some more seeds from over here. Now, as they harvest trees at some point, the seeds are just going to be falling out of the trees when they cut them down. So usually you'll have enough seeds to replace the trees that you've cut down. But there's a little trick where you make something that looks kind of like a hammer, and you whack the trees with the hammer until stuff falls out, like acorns. Well, and it looks like... Yeah, it looks like Treebeard is out of shovel. So I'm gonna give him a new one. That too is something that I usually task a robot to do. So I just basically tell a robot, hey, if anybody says, I want a shovel, then go bring me one. Now, in the meanwhile, I don't actually have any people yet which obviously is something that I need to remedy. 
because otherwise I cannot enlighten my little people. And I can't make them feel lots of love for me. So, let's start doing some industrial things. So, this is going to be my farm. I'm going to plant stuff over here. Right, this general area of all the soil, because then I don't have to dig up all the green stuff. Which means this is going to be my industrial area for now. So, I am going to make me a... Well, first, I'm going to make me one of these. This is a storage thing. And I'm going to put the storage thing somewhere over here. And we put down three. I would, but there's stuff in the way. So, I'm going to grab some stuff that's in the way. And then I'll put down a three. Okay, attempt number two. One, two, three. Now, you can stack these on top of each other, which is great, but um, you can't use them while you're building one of these. So that means that uh, you need to build one, and then only when you really need an expansion do you need to build another one. Now that is something we can do, not a major problem. For now, though, I'm just going to build one, because I want to store the logs as they're being cut. So, I need a log, three planks, and two poles, which means I need to cut down two more threes. There's my axe. Now, it looks like my hole digging robot is done, because he has no more spaces where holes need to be dug. It looks like my planter robot is done because he has no more seeds to plant. In this situation I will soon remedy. You see, I got a bunch of seeds from cutting down two trees just now. I'm going to dump them in his path and see where he goes with them. See, he comes and picks them up and he gets to work on them. Now, Poles and a log. Okay. Now, this is where I'm going to be storing logs. I'm going to task a robot, which is something I, I'm going to need to build, of course, because otherwise I won't have any robots. With Cutting down trees, and I'm going to task another robot with carrying the logs into this thing over here, which is the beginning of my lumber industry. Uh, there's an actual plan for that, by the way. Oh, also there's forestry. There, almost there. And mining. And tools. So many little plans I can follow. So, forestry, chop down a bunch of trees, dig soil, plant seeds trees. Now luckily all of that is going to happen automatically as soon as I activate a chop bot which is a robot that chops down stuff. So far so good. Um, that robot is going to need an axe and mine is pretty much broken so there we go. Also, I am going to need to cut down a tree to make this robot because I need planks and poles and a tree seed and stuff. So I'm going to do that over here. Look, more tree seeds. I think my robot wants those. Oh yeah, my guy swears a lot when he just breaks his tools. Unfortunately, the robots have very small brains, so I can't teach a robot yet to build other robots. Otherwise, I'd have an army of robots soon at my back, which would make 
my life so much easier. There we go. Now let's nab one of these before we go back. This is it. Now I actually also prefer to use as few of these first generation bots as I can because they count against my bot limit. There's only so many robots I can use at a time. Okay, now that is going to be my axe guy. So, let's wind him up. And let's show him how the world works. So what do we call him? Uh, Lumberjack. And you know what? I'm going to make a team out of these guys. I'll call them Forestry Team. Otherwise, I'm going to get super confused in a bit when I have 40 robots. They all have these actually normal nice, nice names. Okay, so Lumberjack. Pay careful attention. You will chop down trees. This will be your sole objective for the rest of your miserable existence. There we go. Then you will only chop down trees in this tiny little area here where we plant them. Cool, right? Notice that this guy starts digging a hole as soon as he sees that the tree's fallen down, so he's going to be super active. Now, this guy is going to cut down trees for eternity. Good luck with that. Oh yeah, also, you're going to need an axe. Yep, there you go. Okay. Now I need another robot, obviously. And I should probably build a chopping block. It's easier to chop wood in a chopping block. Put it relatively close to that thing up there. A log and a crude axe. Right, I can do that. Because obviously you need an axe to chop wood. Now, if I use a manual axe to chop wood all the time, then at some point my axe is going to break and I can't chop wood anymore. But if I use a chopping block, then that is going to stay fresh forever and it makes life much easier. So I am going to put an axe in there so I never have to have an axe in my hand ever again. There we go. I'll set this to turning logs into planks. Wind this guy up so he does his job again. Okay. Now, let's uh, do a bit of lugging. Thanks. Now really briefly reprogram this thing so it also chops holes. And then I'll turn it back to planks because I want this to be my plank chopping station. There. my bot doesn't mind if I steal one of these seeds. So I now have a perpetual motion machine that sometimes I need to sort of bind up that is going to chop down this entire forest and replant it all over again all the time. And all I need to do is sometimes supply an axe or some other tool. Is it axes? All right, good. Notice he's yelling for an axe, so I'm going to give him one. There we go. Now, in the meanwhile, Lugger is going to be carrying 
logs from an area that is slightly bigger than the forest because when they fall over they sometimes end up in a uh, sli in a slightly out of bounds of the forest. Go. Pick it up and take it to the log stack. And do that forever. Good luck and have fun, Lugger. Now, anytime there's a log anywhere here, Lugger over here is going to grab it and take it to here. After which I can do with it whatever I please. Now, I'm going to need to make another chopping block. For which I will need this axe. Because at some point, this is going to be a fully automated station. But for now, it is not. So, another one of these. Toss the axe in there. Log. Yay! I am now Tree Guy. I have a Lumberjack shirt. I don't know why. I don't know what the point of it is. But I can have one if I like. Okay, so, log in there, and that's my plank station, this is going to be my pole station, there we go, and that means that I now also need to have a couple of these, for my planks and for my poles. Now clearly I wasn't paying attention because Shovel Guy needs a shovel and I haven't given him one yet, so... At some point, I'm just going to program a bunch of robots to create and supply tools to whoever needs them. That is not today. There you go, a shovel. Have fun with that. I just need four poles and then I'm ready to go. is a balancing act here, because if I saw every log that I can get my hands on to pieces, that will be a problem, unless I do some clever programming. So let's see if I can use an if statement for this one. I'm going to have a robot saw logs into planks while this is not full, and then I'll have another robot saw planks into poles while this is not full. So at some point, that process should stop itself because a bunch of these things will be full. And every now and then I will have to run around and reload things. Now, I need a robot. How does one create a robot? Very simple. A log, three planks, a pole, and a seed. Log. A pole. Seed. And 
Now all I need is three planks. That's the most work. Luckily, very soon, I will have a boss to this job for. Now, full disclosure, usually at some point I build a, uh, like, two separate robots that take out uh, two to the logs in two separate places, which means that I have some logs that go to the sawmill and some that don't. Okay, now let's see what we're going to call this guy. Now, he's not a forester anymore, he is a lumberyard worker. I'm going to call it lumber team. Because he works in the sawmill. So let's call him Blanky. Or even better, Plankton. Just because I can. Now, Plankton's job is going to be pick up these and saw it. Now let's see if I can even have him pick this up. Twice. Dump them in there. There. Alright, I'm gonna need a loop for this. And let's see. First of all, it's forever. Right. He goes there. Then, repeat two times because we always get two planks. Then we can eliminate this, this, and this. Okay. Do this one. Repeat two times. This, there. Now it's going to grab a log, chop it, grab two planks, and put both of those planks in there. And if this is full, it's going to stop because it won't be able to put a plank in there. It's brilliant. There we go. You have one there, so. Let's see what he does. One. Two. One, two. And next. See? Forever he will now be chopping wood. Poor guy. So glad I'm not a robot. And we need an axe. like it is an opportunity to get another robot into the mix here. Because I need to get a robot that can handle the poles. Let's just grab the stuff that's easily grabbable. him how to do things. We'll call him Paul. He is also on the lumber team and he gets to do this. Got a plank. Drop it there. Grab 
Grab that. Put it there. Now we have another couple of repeat instructions here. The beeping does get kind of tedious at some point. Yeah. There we go. So now he's going to grab two poles once he's cut them. And he's going to drop two poles into that bin over there. There we go. Pull those now working. Clear the way for him. Now, I expect that the plank and pole bins are going to fill up quicker than the lug bin, log bin. But that's not a problem. So, these guys are doing their job now, that's great. I need to go wind up a bunch of windy bots. Now this gets into it in, in, in a complete log jam, of course, if Lugger ever at some point breaks down. Which he's about to. There we go. Also, it looks like um, Treebeard needs a shovel. I should probably automate that next. Is tree beard. He's hiding in a tree. Okay. Okay. Now we've got a bunch of robots doing this, and this will kind of go on forever, which is good. So I should probably create some robots that will make sure that these guys don't break down. This is the maintenance team. Because Mark 7 over here is going to restart broken down robots. I just need to find a broken down robot before I can teach him how to do that. So he's going to stay here for a bit, blinking yellow, until a robot breaks down. This is nice, right? So, this one is now waiting because it's full. Right? This building over here is also full, so the next time this guy shows up with a plank there, he's not 23 out of 25, he's going to cut one more log, and then he's going to just chill out. In the meanwhile, Lugger over here can refill that box. That's good. There we go. Now I can teach this guy. I'm going to give him CPR dude 1. 
I always need multiple of these. And I'm going to make him revive this robot over here. Now you'll notice that he says, okay, I'm going to do this to all discharged robots, meaning robots that are out of charge, not that I fired them or something, in this area. There we go. Oh, also, repeat forever. Keep doing that. Now, I don't have to worry about the forest team for a while because that guy can wind him up again, but at some point, he needs winding up, and then everything jams. So, usually it's good to have two identical robots that can also rewind up each other. Let's see what the... Ah, good, we still need chop twelve, five more planks. So I'm going to need to find a use for some poles. I'm just going to drop them here. No, not here. Here. In the meanwhile, there is mining to be done. It says I need to store stones, right? So that means I need to actually start building some places where I can store stuff like acorns and sticks and stones. And since we're going to be using those for industrial purposes, I might as well put them all here. Sticks, stones, acorns. Yeah, that'll do for now. They need four planks and four poles each. Look, I already have four poles. And make it possible for him to chop more trees by grabbing more poles. Kind of useful, right? I need to make more axes, more spades, and more picks. And that is something I'm going to need to do anyway, so I should probably get to work on that. But first, let's grab a robot. That will be able to help us gather the stuff I need to do that. Okay, now this guy CPRD goes on the maintenance team. Mark 8 though, he is going to go here. Grab stones, put them in this box over here. that until I change this program, which I will. He'll be on the mining team. Yeah, 
And obviously we need another axe. This is getting old. I need to automate this. But I need more bots to automate stuff. Swap this guy's instruction now, because Rocky needs to look. There, because that is where we're going to be mining. And now, he's going to stay at his post and do what he needs to do. Now, the new guy picks up sticks. The new guy... Picks up sticks. Specifically, around the area of the forests. There we go. And brings it to this box. You know what? I'm actually going to have to make it a little bit more efficient. Forever. Find the nearest stick in the area. Keep grabbing sticks until your hands are full. Then drop it in there. Go to the storage. Repeat until your hands are empty. But you need to dump it in there. You can now get to work. Good luck. And I think I'm going to change this guy's instructions as well. So, again, repeat this instruction until your hands are full. Grab stones, and then repeat your instruction until your hands are empty. Dump all the stones. There. Not entirely useful just yet, but it'll get there soon. Okay, I now need a bunch of extra workbenches. Two more, to be precise. Let's build them. There we go. I also need a couple of boxes to put stuff in. Let's say here, here, and here. All of it's kind of close together, right? I should probably fix that. Just two apart like this. There, just for a little bit of separation. Now, uh, let's start with the crude axles. I need planks and poles. Now, we're gathering stones here and sticks there, which means that if I build a bot now that does something with those, it 
to make life easier. Got this. Three of these. This guy is waiting for his shovel, so I'm gonna start automatic shovels first. Yay, bots. Now I can make gears and wheels, which actually makes upgrading robots possible. Now, let's see if I can already... Nope, I have to have love first, which is good. And let's see if I can get this guy to do what I want him to do. He doesn't have a swap slot. Okay. So this one is gonna be... Shovel. It's just the name of the game. And... Forestry. And... Rocky is a miner. Alright. Shovel is going to grab one of these. Right there. Oops. Or grab one of these. Put it there. Grab one of these. Put it there. Grab the axe. Put it there. Ah, crap. So this guy's brain is too stupid to be able to do making it and putting it in there. Oh. I'm gonna put this one. If this one is not full, then he can do all these things. Now, later bots are going to be smart enough to be able to uh, see the difference. For now, not. So, this is going to be a tool maker. So, tools to shovel. Which means I'm going to have to build an extra bot to actually put the shovels in the box so that shovel can't make too many too big bots. I mean, too many shovels. Shoot. He is going to spend all of his days grabbing shovels and putting them there. And he'll do that forever. Good luck, Shoot. So, now, this box is going to get filled with shovels. Which means at some point, shovel is going to go, oh, the box is full, I should build no more shovels. Not bad, eh? Now I just need one more guy. So many bots we need, right? This one is kind of important. So, 
I'm going to call him Shovelbeard. And what he does is he has a shovel and grabs an axe from here. We've been doing axes. I need to rename all these guys. Okay. He grabs an axe. He brings it to somebody who needs an axe. In this area somewhere. He's gonna wait by the box until someone needs an axe. Okay. Was I forgetting something? Ah, yeah. I need a miner. I need to rename all these guys because Shuri is actually axy, and Shovel is actually. There we go. And the shovel bearer is a tool guy. He will hand. It's not the shovel, the axe bearer. He brings axes. There. Now we need to do the same thing for shovels. Which means I need a couple more bots. I first also have to build this thing. So I need two sticks. And two logs. Now you might see that I'm running out of stones, but that's gonna solve itself soon enough. Notice that there's two new recipes in there. We're not going to do anything with those just yet. Soon we're going to have a nice little uh, pedal bike thingy, which is going to make our lives easier. This one is going to be shovel. He is going to do the same thing that his brother did. Stone. Toss it in there. A stick. Toss it in there. I am being stupid. Which is sad. I forgot to push the record button. And that was the last stone I had on hand easily. This is a teaching moment. Toss it in there. No other stones. Oh yeah, there's a couple other stones inside. Good. So I can still make pickaxes. Pickaxes. In. Okay. Record. Shovel. Grab a stone. Toss it there. A stick. Toss it there. Good. 
repeat if that box is not full of this. I haven't even started on little pipsqueaks called folk yet. Somebody should come and pick up these stones now. And it should now be safe to make a box that's going to hack all those stones to bits. So that we're going to have stones for the people. Perpetuity. that rock is totally gone, he is going to whack it with his stick. Now I am going to, to build yet another robot that is going to be doing shoveling. Shovel distribution, I would like to call that. to 15 robots now. And I'm not done at all. 
that is part of the marketing team. Shovel is part of the tools team. Number 15 is going to be the new Shuri. He gets to grab these. Come in there. For it. Good luck with that, Shuri. No good. I'm now also a cool miner. Funnily enough, the clothing doesn't look like mining clothing. It looks like fisherman's clothing. Okay. Now, I just need somebody to do some picking. Oh, and I need somebody to do some distribution of all those things. So, I have to make another distribution box calling the shovel bearer. this for the mining picks as well, and everything is going to be fine. Well, we'll just manually gather some sticks. is the brain. Nice to know. Ah, looks like Hacker has reached the end of his rock, so I'm now gonna have him hack this stuff. And so it looks like he's out of pickaxe, which is annoying. Another new pickaxe. Okay, pay attention, Hacky. He goes. Do some mining. Okay, next robots. 
And again, this one gets to learn that he needs to create pickaxes. Arms down. Up there. Arms stick. Up there. Repeat. This is long. As that box is not full. Call this guy Pick. And he's got a partner who's going to be called Picky because I can. Now we just need one more guy, and that is the robot that's going to create this guy in the pick whenever he gets out of picks. And then we can start thinking about farming food and things. this guy to run out of battery, which is going to take a while. So, pick, and pick he, and the final friend. Yay! I am now a true guy. And I can have plumber dungarees, wow. Our new friend is called the Pick Bear. Let's see if there's any other plans we can go after. I don't want to actually do the tutorial, so screw the tutorial. Uh, it is time for fruit farming. Yeah. And mushroom farm. You know what? Just berries should be enough for the first bit. Berries. We harvest berries by whacking a plant with a stick. It's a super scientific process. And it helps to have done that once or twice. See, every time you hit a plant with a stick, one fruit drops out. And to plant a berry bush, you need one fruit. So, yeah. Okay. 
Alright, I'm gonna need a shovel for this. And the area is gonna be two, three, four, five, so I'm gonna clear out these fields of green. to take that pick to wear out. Bear will now learn how to pick up a pick and bring it to somebody who needs a pick. For it. Good. That mission accomplished now, too. Time for food farming. Now, rather than doing everything myself again, I'm going to get a robot started on digging holes. Of course, I'm going to need a bot for that first. finally share programs. That's good. This lets me double up on programs without having to reprogram bots all the time. That's going to be most useful as soon as I get tasks that are actually good for multiple bots at the same time. But for now, make a new group called Farmers. Farming team. And we're 
I have Mark 22. Farm team. We'll call him Berry Farm. He won't actually be a Berry Farm yet. He's just a whole sticker. Really specific location of hills. There. Dig until there's nothing to dig left. Good luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor. See, in the meanwhile, I can go and harvest a bunch of berries, which I can plant in the holes that he digs. The fun thing about berry bushes is that once you have them, they just produce berries. You don't actually have to tend them much, except you have to whack them with a stick, which is a job that a robot can easily do. In a field of 5x5, five five, one or two of these little robots whacking things with sticks is all you need. So I'm going to plant this whole field in a bit, and then the farming can commence. Now as soon as I have berries, I can actually have people, because then I have something to do with what I need. See, as soon as he's done digging his holes, I can concentrate on seeding that patch. Now I'm gonna make a nice little grass boundary.
You know what? I'm gonna build extra storage. Make it bigger. That way we can have more logs stored and the forestry work can continue unabated, which is great. Nice. Also, I'm just waiting for stuff to happen right now anyway, so I have the time. One log, three planks, two poles. Wait, there was logs there. Now, the robot we just dug my very farm is going to get the instructions. Stop everything. Stop everything. There is instructions. It's just a matter of waiting until one of these berry bushes is ripe. And then, I can have a nice little talk with Berry Farmer over there. I might even be able to teach him this one. Yes, there we go. 
There we go. Black bush. Forever. Do it only in that little area. So he grabs his own stick if he needs one. Time to start breeding little um, folks. I'm gonna need a berry gatherer though. After that, I am going to need a bot. This area here looks nice. We'll put their little houses over there. It means, of course, first I have to have a breeding facility so I can get people to fall. I guess I'll do that here. Food supply here. That first, so our little guy can actually come and fill the food supply. Now, this is still a farming guy, so. Bearing. Bearing. In a specific area. Seven by seven. Then put it very far. Because they're never going to be outside that area. Feed forever. But also, feed. Until the hands are full. And then. This chest. I'm going to not have him do this if this chest is full. Mm -hmm. 
just so he doesn't waste his stick at this time. We're gonna need to make gears now. Time to make another factory, I guess. Nope, I just realized I promised somebody I'd go walk the dog. So I'll continue the stream at some point, and I think it doesn't even.